Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, select background layer, look here and let's create a new new object for control documents animations. Go to create new object, hold control, double click pen behind icon for move anchor point center, click session tool and select this document 1, 2, 3, link to null object 1. Select null object 1 and let's go to here, press P, make new person keyframe and go to first second, move to right these layers. Select these keyframes, make easy or click F9. And select keyframes, go to graph editor, select this graph, let's move to left like this, let's see. Okay, let's move the right a little bit, like this. Okay. So, back to keyframe, select last keyframe, move to right. Okay, looks good. So, let's make shadow for these document layers. Go to shape layers, hold this icon, select ellipse tool, and let's make one ellipse like this. Clisation tool, and go to stroke, chain stroke 0. And go to fill, let's select this airdropper icon, select background color and change to dark yellow. Click OK. And select this layer, let's move to here for shadow. And I will make other shadows inside one shape layer. Let's open inside, select ellipse 1, Ctrl D for duplicate and hold this shadow, hold shift, move to right. Again, select this ellipse tool, Ctrl D for duplicate, and hold the shadow, hold shift, move to right. Okay, and change name shadow. And link to null object. Select shadow, move to behind dark layers. And let's animation. Okay, not bad. And right now, let's create new adjustment layer and change name magnify. So, go to FX Presses, search Effect Magnify and select this Magnify effect. Let's use for Adjustment Layer. And let's zoom in here. Okay, so, go to Click Center. Let's go to Click here for Put to Center. Magnify and change size. Let's move to the left a little bit. And change Magnification like this. Let's change to handler. Okay, so, and in this time I want to show very important way for how to link magnify to this magnify vector layer. If I select this magnify and move to behind magnify layers, and if I click E for open magnify effect here, and open inside, and select this magnify layer, press P, and right now I want to link this magnify and I want to make links. Go to center and let's link to magnify all position value. So click here but we have problem like this. Okay, so for now let's select the magnify glass and height. Select magnify again, let's see. If I try change magnify center, I can't change value. So how to fix this problem? First one, hold alt click this center for unlink. Okay, so select this magnify and go to pen behind, select anchor point, move to center here. Then click session 2, again let's try link to magnify, select go to center and link to center here. Okay, here we go. It works. Select this magnify tool. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And right now, select this magnify glass link to magnify tool layer. Let's enable glass and select magnify tool. Very nice. Select magnify glass, press T, change opacity like this. And I want another FX for more realistic magnify. Go to FX Presses Source Effect Bulge and select this bulge effect. Let's use for magnify. 
and close magnify settings, open bulge effects and select magnify 2 again, press P and select these bulge, let's move to here and change horizontal radius and vertical radius okay let's see a difference okay this is more realistic magnify okay that's good and right now let's we can see our bulge center let's link to magnify here and select magnify let's see okay pretty good so right now we can make animation let's close all these settings and What's the timing after document layers? Select this magnify tool and move to down and press P, make new person Q frame and go to 10 Q frames. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard, or let me show other way. Click time duration, write plus 10, click OK and move to up magnify layer like this and select two frames, make easies and let's go to 7 seconds press N for select work area and select here tram come to work area ok, let's animation ok, this is very fast, select first two frame, move to left and go to graph editor, select this graph let's make graph like this ok, back to two frame, select last two frame, move to right and in this time I will make random two frames for example next two frame so let's move to here and next two frame let's move to here and next two frame move to here and next move to here and last two frame let's move to center like this so let's say animation okay we have problem again two frames Let's fix it. Select all these keyframes. Right mouse, keyframe interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. OK, not bad. So select this magnifier layer and go to here. Hold Shift, press R, open rotation. Make rotation keyframe. Go to here. Let's try to change rotation like this. And go to here. Let's change rotation here and next Q frame change again and next Q frame let's change rotation like this and next Q frame again change rotation and last Q frame change to left and select rotation Q frames make easies okay very nice so guys let's select these all position Q frames and I want to make a little bit smooth animation. Go to graph editor and select these all two frames and move to right like this. And let's say again. Okay, that's good. I like it. Okay, so let's back to two frames and let's close these magnified two frames. And let's see here. In this time, let's select this dock two layer and press S, make scale two frame and go to here, change scale and select last two frame, move to right and make two frames easy and go to back let's select work area ok, select first two frame, move to left and in this time, select this dock one layer, press S, make sketch U frame, and go to here, change scale 115, make two frames easy. Right now, let's make sketch U frame for dock two, and go to here, change dock two layer 100%. Okay, very nice. And right now, let's again make new keyframe for dock two, and go to here, change 115, and here, let's select this dock three, press S, 
mix KQ frame and go to here, change 115. And right now, let's make sketch U frame for dock 2. Go to next U frame, change 100%. And select dock 3 Q frames, make easies. Nice. And here, make sketch U frame. And go to here, change 100%. And select dock 2, make sketch U frame. Go to next U frame change 150 and let's move to right a little bit like this okay let's animation okay very nice so in this time select these two frames close and i want to prepare shadow layers let's select the shadow control d again control d and this is doc one. Let's change name one, this two, and this three. And go to here and select this shadow three. Let's link to doc three. Select layer two, link to doc two. Select layer one, link to doc one. Let's select shape layer one, go to solo, and let's select the shape layers, hold control, let's select this, delete and hold control select this delete and unsolo select layer 2 go to solo and hold control select this delete and hold control select this delete and unsolo select layer 3 go to solo and hold control select this and this delete and let's see okay right now we can see here scale with shadow layers Awesome. So let's enable motion blur for all layers. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.